Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here at the TaylorMade Kingdom. I'm joined by Tomo Bystead to talk about the new TaylorMade Sim Fairway Woods today. Uh, TaylorMade is transitioning from the M family to the Sim family. Uh, Tomo, let's first get into that. How yeah. did uh, that come about, the kind of the transition from the M family to Sim? Well, you know, uh, when we bring in a new technology or something significantly different about the clubs, we like to, to change the names mm -hmm. and, and really to tell consumers that, hey, something's different about TaylorMade this year. And, and that's what happened in 2020. We, we have uh, new shape-based technologies in both the drivers and the fairy woods. Um, obviously, on the driver, you've seen that kind of asymmetric mm -hmm. sole design, which is brand new. And also on the fairy woods, we have a brand new V-Steel kind of look to the bottom as well. So we felt like this is an opportunity to, to signal to the consumers that, hey, the, the clubs are different and, and they provide different kinds of technologies and performance. And so we wanted to change the name along with that. Absolutely. And I think, like you mentioned, V-Steel, that's kind of mm -hmm. a big uh, uh, difference maker now because that was a, a present, I believe, in the mid-2000s with that's Taylor right. made Ferry mm -hmm. Woods. Bringing it back now. Mm -hmm. So how is V-Steel going to work and what are golfers going to see out of it? Yeah, so V-Steel is in all the new Ferry Woods for 2020, both the Sim, the Sim Max, and the Sim Max D. So the three different models. Uh, basically, the V-Steel technology is really core to that playability through the turf, right? So uh, fairway woods are unique in the sense that you hit them off the tee, but also mostly off the fairways, and you need to have performance that works for both. And really, the sole interaction is so critical in fairway woods, that not only from a uh, kind of a, a forgiveness and reduced interaction of, with the turf point of view, but also from a versatility standpoint. A lot of people like to hit those longer fairway wood shots, really, you know, from bad lies, ball mm -hmm. sitting down, the rough, and so forth. And that's really what the V-Steel is designed okay. to do, is to get that club through the turf faster and smoother for sure and now we got like mm -hmm. you said three different models uh, get the mm -hmm. sim sim max Sim max d what are golfers going to see uh, differently I guess unique out of each of the three models yeah so the, I would say the biggest change is really in the sim fairway the sim titanium fairway and so that's really a kind of descendant if you will from the m5 fairway which is also a titanium model what we've done really for 2020 in the sim model is is to make the head a little bigger we're trying to get more golfers into this product uh, basically uh, widen the, the scope for it. So it's gone from 160 cc's to 180. Uh, and we've increased the size of the steel weight on the bottom from a 65 mm -hmm. gram to an 80 gram steel weight. And this 80 gram steel weight brings the CG super low in the head. And that completely changes launch conditions in a fairy wood. So you're gonna see very high launch with this club. You're gonna see really low spin. And uh, frankly, launch conditions and trajectories you've never seen in a fairway right. before. So that's really exciting for a lot of people. And combined with that speed pocket too low in the face, it's gonna have one of the best performances you've ever seen from a low face hit standpoint, which is, again, a common miss hit for fairway woods. So really excited about, for sure, the new sim tie. Yeah, and I know um, you guys have had adjustability before in fairway mm -hmm. woods, and you kind of took out the movable weights here. I would assume mm -hmm. that was largely to improve that turf interaction kind of with the V-steel yeah, element. Yeah, correct. There's two, there's two parts of it. For sure, the V-steel element is one of them. It was very difficult to create the turf interaction that we wanted with a huge movable weight on the bottom. And the other part of it, too, is we could move the CG even lower if the weight wasn't movable. Okay. And so considering we still have adjustability in this club using the loft sleeve and you can adjust it that way, we felt like that was sufficient really for most people to, to get that dialed in. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. against the, so the Sim, you got Sim Max and Sim Max D. Mm -hmm. um, what are golfers going to find for yeah. the different, uh, I guess, choices that they have? Are yeah. The Sim very well. yeah, so the Sim Max and the Sim Max D is going to offer sort of in that spectrum of a little bit more playability, forgiveness versus the Sim, uh, and really we're targeting, you know, with the Max, really all kinds of golfers, all the way from the tour player to the high handicapper, the Sim Max D is designed to be the most forgiving option. So that one is going to be our highest launching and, and sure. with some draw bias built in as well. Uh, we do offer a really wide range of loft options in, in both of these fairway woods. So the Max comes all the way from a Rocket 3, which are 14 degree kind of driving fairway wood. Uh, all the way up to a nine wood at 24 degrees. So it's gonna have a huge range of loft, which is great. Uh, a lot of people are, are kind of opting for those higher lofted fair with these days, so we wanna give people that option as yeah. well. The V-Steel, what we've done on the, on the Max D product is really, we've shaped it with an even larger face, the 190 cc head, and actually weakened all the lofts by one. Okay. And the Max D is available on the three, five, and a seven. But again, with all with those weaker lofts, sure. so a little bit more height and a little bit easier to play. For sure, and then that sim is kind of, um a little bit for not the more of a high swing speed, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. Players that can already generate that speed to get that ball in the air. Yeah, so the Sim tie has, has a very low center of gravity, about 12 millimeters, about three or four millimeters lower than any of our fairwoods in the past. Uh, but really what is gonna be different here is that low spin condition. Okay. So if you're a player who needs a little bit more spin, the max may be more suitable for you. But obviously a lot of players are looking for distance in their fairwoods. That's where the Sim uh, model is gonna be the longest probably for most of those people. Sure, well yeah. Tomo, this is some great information. Mm -hmm. Obviously golfers are always looking forward to the TaylorMade uh, Metalwood release every year uh, at the beginning of the year in January. So this is some great stuff. Uh, Tomo, awesome. thank you for joining us today. Uh, again, golfers out there, three great options for fairwoods and the TaylorMade Sim family.